Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to uh, take a look at this particular dashboard that I have over here, wherein I'm analyzing the sales, profit, and quantity by or by different categories. For example, I have total sales by category over here, and the same categories are repeating in all these visuals. However, all of them have same colors. Now, what if we want to have the same color for technology across all the visuals over here, and same color for furniture, across all the visuals so that it's easier to identify when you look at and understand what is happening with quantity, profit and sales. So this is the tutorial for today. So let's get started with this tutorial. The first thing that I'm going to do here is go to the home tab and click on enter data. This will help us create a new table within our dashboard. So let's call this table as colors and let's add two columns to this particular table. One is category and second is color. So here we're going to type in manually all the categories that I have over here, which is technology, office supplies and furniture. However, if you have a long list of uh, rows that you want to uh, import into a into Power BI, you can also create an Excel sheet and then uh, import that data into the Power BI table. So here, since there are only few categories, I would like to just enter them manually over here. The first is technology. Second is office supplies. Office third is furniture. Okay. And color here is you can either enter red or light blue and green. However, uh, this has very limited options to play around with. So I would like to go to the Google and type in color picker wherein you get this particular palette and you can just simply play around with it and get a lot of colors uh, to, to, to choose from. So let's first add this particular color over here. I'm going to copy this particular hex code, go to my Power BI over here and replace the values over here. So and then the next one here, I'm going to let's say I need this uh, the yellow color over here. Uh, I'm going to copy the hex code and paste the value over here. Third one, let's say I need a little darker uh, color. Uh, I need the orangish color. I'm going to copy this value over here and paste this in the uh, furniture. So there's a new column that is added. I don't need this. Oh, sorry, row that is added. I don't need that. So I'm going to simply click on load. So we'll now see that a new uh, table has been created called as colors which is over here with category and color option so let's go to the orders table and create a new measure so we'll create a new measure and call this as category color is equals to i'm going to use the lookup value function so the first argument here is that we need to enter the result value which is going to be colors from the color table so look at here it is result column name so we need the color as the output and it's asking me to enter the search column name which is going to be category comma and then it's asking me to enter the search value one which also is going to be category but however it does not let me enter the category column directly from my orders table so i'm going to use the selected value function and type in category so here we get orders category then i'm going to close the bracket over here type in comma and over here i need to enter the alternate result what if there are no matching results what is it that i want so let's say i need light red in return if the categories are not matching okay and then i'm going to press enter so a new measure is now created so we'll simply go here to the format visual tab go to bars here and click on this fx button which is nothing but conditional formatting and under format style select field value and over here type in the uh, measure that we created which is category color and then click on ok so you will see that we've automatically colored all of them now you don't have to do the same thing for all these visuals what you can do is simply click on format painter and select on that copy uh, format printer and select the visual that where you want to apply the color Co do the same thing again here for this color as well so now you can see that we now have the tab here with same colors across the dashboard across the tab over here technology is blue over here and furniture is orangish over here that is what we have selected now the other good thing of this particular thing is let's say you don't you don't like the color of office supplies and you want to change that so let's quickly go over here choose a different color that you uh, want to uh, change to and simply copy the hex code come back over here to your colors table and go to edit query and once in the edit query over here, you can simply 
let's say change the color of furniture you can right click replace values and uh, paste the value that you want to replace with click on ok and click on close and apply so once you do that you will automatically see the color of furniture changing in all the visuals over here as you can see that it's now changed to purple so this is a nice trick to uh, change the uh, colors in your dashboard so i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials